becoming a tradition. Uh, I remember I was also at the uh, EPC 700 launch, and then the EPC 900. So now we're the uh, 1000H launch. So I'm this for our friends from the press. This is not an Intel event, but uh, we're very glad that uh, ASUS has invited us. Uh, as they said that uh, before talking about the uh, end product of ASUS feed, they want us to talk about what's inside. And, you know, uh, Intel inside is uh, our forte. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the Atom-based netbooks and very briefly the desktops. So we know that uh, the demand for the internet continues to grow, although our uh, internet penetration is still uh, very low, but we know that we've been growing on a year-to-year -year basis uh, very fast. There's a lot of uh, programs from our telcos on broadband and a lot of products that's out there uh, concerning the uh, internet con connection. So that's a given. And with that, uh, there's a research. This is not just for Philippines, but uh, this is a global research. Now. And if you take a look at uh, the data, people are spending about equal time on the internet as uh, on the TV. No? So I'm sure a lot of you are also doing the same thing. No? Maybe some of you are spending internet on TV at the same time. No? I don't know how they counted it here, but you know, some of you may even be multi multiplexing doing the internet and playing a video and watching TV. But the point is, the internet is growing, internet use is growing for leisure. So there's a lot of people who are now going into uh, internet-centric device. And that's exactly the point of uh, Intel when we created the Atom processor. Now, what's new about this uh, design is that it's really designed for low power architecture and designed for, uh, for the low cost uh, and entry level positioning uh, as compared to the high level, uh, high end uh, computing of the gaming industry, for example. So we have a small device with long battery life. And I'm not sure if you've heard about our 45 nanometer technology, which we have been uh, uh, making the processor smaller and smaller, the transistors inside the processor. So now we can fit 47 plus million in that small uh, microprocessor. So obviously my slide came from Singapore. We haven't changed it to a Filipinize it to a, a Filipino coin yet, so, but, but soon we'll have that. But this is how small it is. No? It's really a smaller than a coin. So that's the Atom processor. That's the one that's inside in, in our boxes that we used to see there. So customers can now make the right choice whether you want to buy the regular notebook, which is the, the big one there from Celeron, Pentium Dual Core, to our Core to Duo, to our Centrino, and to the Centrino 2 that's going to come out uh, next week. And then you can go netbook which is the Atom-based netbook. Okay, so what's the difference? I'm sure you've seen this before, uh, but I want to reiterate that the netbooks are made for the internet, okay? They're, you can do, you can communicate, uh, email, instant message, VOIP, etc. Social networking, I know some of you are my friends on Facebook. So, learn. Research homework. Uh, this is for students. Now you don't you don't need a robust uh, machine in order for you to do research. You know, and just looking at uh, Wikipedia and Google and you know, and of course you can do watch and play. Uh, you can these boxes. You can also go into YouTube and you know browse or just simply listening to music. So that's what this is intended for. Now. Uh, in terms of what's the netbook and what's a notebook, so netbooks are intended for content consumption versus when we have the uh, regular notebooks, we call it the content creation and editing. So it doesn't mean that you cannot do, uh, you cannot play games here, but but uh, you cannot play the high-end games which require uh, high CPU and high graphics. Or if you want high definition, for example, or uh, editing, uh, pictures and all that, you have to go into the regular notebook. So netbooks, internet-centric. Okay, so 
what we've, see we've been seeing is that uh, netbooks and notebooks actually complement each other. And I know from your experience, you also have this, you have your regular notebook or desktop where you do a create and edit your content and then you just put it on the net netbooks. And this, the netbooks, that's what you usually bring to your, uh, to the coffee shops, right? So that's the uh, uh, complementary function of the notebook and the netbook. So what we announced at Computex, uh, I'm sure you've seen this, but uh, we've announced the N270. The N270 uh, Atom processor is the one that goes into the netbook. Now the 230, we call, we have the code name before, it's diamond here, but the 230 is the Atom that goes into the e-box, the, the PC, uh, the uh, desktop. So in uh, Computex, Asus launched EPC 901 and the 1000. Okay, so I, I did talk about uh, the net uh, net top, right? So netbook is to notebook, so that's why I started with netbook is to notebook, and net top is to desktop. So net top is also uh, an internet centric device. That's as far as uh, Intel is uh, uh, category classification is concerned. So we call uh, the e box is a net top. Okay, so. We now have the uh, Intel Atom, the new chip design, uh, with 45 nanometer. Simple and affordable. It's uh, catered to broad range of consumers. And it, it's now available through uh, our uh, local retailers. So with that, I would like to congratulate uh, ASUS. Uh, thank them for inviting us here. Congratulate them on this launch. Thank you.